Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your March 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. I want you guys to remember that this reading may not be for you. And this reading is for March. Okay? So I'd like you to use your common sense when you watch this reading. Okay? It may not be for you. Somebody may be feeling like giving up. Yeah, somebody may be feeling like giving up. Absolutely. Somebody may be thinking about walking away from a situation. There's a, a feeling of disappointment here. Thinking about leaving. Because there's some kind of grief. There's some kind of uh, uh, regret or rejection or hurt or loss. Or something. There's some kind of... I think that this is... Um, There's some kind of sorrow. There's some kind of sorrow. And somebody can't take it very much longer. And they're really, really thinking about it and trying to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? This is about making a decision. There's a lot of confusion going on. What, what, what should I do? I mean, I know that I have to make a decision, but I'm not sure. There's, there is. It's like there's a feeling of um, uncertainty here. Should I give up or should I try harder? It feels like things are out of balance right now. You know, they're, they're, things may be a little overwhelming for some reason. Um, there could be some sort of um, addictions even. Somebody may be masking the truth or masking the pain in an addiction. Or, you know, there's, there could be an over, overindulgence in some way. Maybe that's why you're thinking about walking away. Maybe your partner is overindulging in some way. I don't know. There's a feeling of uh, needing, needing you, you've been patient. I know that you've been patient, but I don't know how much longer you can pretend. Somebody's like pretending that everything is okay when it's not. And you're resisting a change. That's what this card stands for. Somebody is resisting a change that is needed. I feel as though um, somebody has to really stand up. They have to make a choice. You need to make a decision. I feel as though <coughs> there's been a period of limbo where somebody's been really patient and they've been contemplating and what am I going to do? Is this ever going to get better? I really feel like giving up at this point. But if I give up, there will be some heartache, you know, because I think your heart is definitely involved. And right now, there's a lot of confusion going on up there. I mean, there is. And it's like, I feel like you, there's some kind of, uh, you're stuck. You're stuck in your head trying, you're stuck in your head with the truth, okay? The thing is, is this right here, is somebody, this is the fake it till you make it card. Somebody is faking something. Even though they really want to do something, they're faking something, faking that everything is okay, that they want to to keep going but this is saying somebody wants to quit they don't they're they're ready to qu or they may they're I'm not sure if they want to quit they're they're close to quitting close to quitting um you could be dealing with somebody who is only focused on uh finances and security and not love I feel like you're dealing with somebody who could be quite cruel uh hot-headed uh stubborn For many of you, there's a very big disappointment, okay? We have disappointment in a few different areas. Somebody's not happy with it, with, with how things have turned out. And there's, there's some kind of ending that is needed or is on the horizon. We have two tens right here. So this these are completions. There's definitely 
some sort of completion on the horizon. It feels as though you've put in a lot of time. You put in a lot of time into something. I gotta let my cat out because he will not stop. I do apologize. It's okay because I wanted to zoom this in anyway. There's been a period of time where you all have invested, maybe it's seven months, okay, it could be seven months, you've invested into something and it's just not working out and you, you really gave, gave it your all. I feel like you gave it at all, but you've come to a point where you can't pretend anymore. You can't pretend that this is going to change. There's a lot of uh, thinking going on and feeling like you maybe you feel like you have been betrayed in some way maybe you feel like you've been lied to i feel like whatever this is somebody has been very hot headed and there's no budging going on somebody just isn't budging they're not changing they're not things aren't looking like they're going are very secure there's insecurity here and in, in heartache there's some kind of heartache over this insecurity um, and it feels like you can't resist this change anymore but you have I mean that's the basis of this reading you guys have been resisting a change you've been in limbo for I'd say seven months you know it could be seven months could be seven years I'm not sure but I feel as though that this is a seven is very prominent as far as timing goes so I feel as though somebody has been in limbo. They've made quite a few sacrifices. They've given it their all. They've really invested into something and it's not working out. And now they're contemplating what the next move is. They're looking for security. They're looking for stability. They're looking for abundance. And I feel like right now they're not getting it. So this is why there's confusion because I'm looking for the, the whole package. And in, in one arena of your life, it's it's like you feel like it's not there, okay? With the Eight of Cups next to the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords, it's not there. Somebody is not happy in this scenario. And I think that they're getting ready to quit. And I'm not sure what you're getting ready to quit, but you're getting ready to quit something. Um, I feel as though it's the end. It's the end, okay? Something has reached the end. But... Somebody has a fear of growing old alone. It's like, there's. I don't want to grow old alone. I feel like, you know, many of you may be pretending that everything's okay because in hoping and praying and really, really investing into something because you don't want to end up alone. And you're afraid to sever ties because if you sever these ties, then you might be alone for a little while. So this is, you know... There's a feeling of, and if you are alone right now, I think there's a lot of loneliness going on. You may be feeling very, very lonely, like you really are going to grow old alone. I'm never going to find anybody. I'm never going to find anybody. I, I, I missed the opportunity because I did sever the ties with somebody, you know, because this can go several different ways. I feel as though, you know, there's, it's like somebody is going through some sort of midlife crisis where they're in limbo. They're in limbo. Whether they're alone and they're in limbo or they're in a relationship and they're in limbo. Somebody is in limbo that is watching this. They're in the middle of deciding what they want their future to look like. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. Now one of these is you, okay? But you could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel as though... There is a potential for a relationship here, but I feel like somebody's getting robbed, somebody's getting caught, so it didn't work out. This is getting caught, and this is toxic. It was just sexual, and this is pretty, pretty sexual as well, being reversed. So I feel, I mean, it was, I feel as though that something was based more on sex than it was on love, but you were hoping that it was going to turn into love, but I don't think it is. And I think that there could be a new offer of love elsewhere, but I feel like you can't move on from this person that you're with because of the, some kind of heartache. Or if you're single, you're still attached to somebody mentally. 
because this is very emotional. But I also see a lot of intuition here. So I think your intuition is telling you what to do. So really, really pay attention to that at this time. I feel as though somebody, something has, has come out, some kind of truth. It's like somebody has got caught. Somebody has been caught and it has caused some heartache. And I'm not sure what this means. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you are involved with. Okay. There is some kind of uh, lies that or dishonesty that is really making you contemplate your future. And there is a toxic situation here. Okay, there's also a karmic relationship here that I believe that you can't quite move right, move right, move away from. There is a karmic relationship that is keeping you bound. That's what I see. It's time for you to put yourself in the driver's seat. It's time for you to take the lead and bring success to your life. But right now you're not. Right now you're not because you're not able to get the romance that you deserve or to offer the romance that you deserve. This is the Knight of Cups reversed. Okay, I feel as though there's somebody that is lacks compassion around you or in your life and that... You're not able to get the romance that you were looking for. And now it's really time for you to move on. This is moving forward so that you can find new love. So I feel as though you are being called to move on. But right now you're still thinking about somebody. And I think it's somebody from your past. I do. I think it's somebody from your past that you can't move on. They're robbing you from true love. They're robbing you from, from finding new love because of the heartache okay you're still in I think you're still in love with somebody else from your past and I could be wrong but like I said this reading is not for everybody it's not going to be for everybody so I feel like there's a lot of confusion going on up there I think many of you are stuck in a predicament you've been in a, this predicament could be seven months could be seven years and you've reached the point where you're just about ready to quit and move on and to put yourself in the driver's seat and take the lead and follow your intuition your intuition has been telling you what to do but for many of you the uh, fear of growing old loan is is big 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 and it's like you can't you're not focusing on the future when you should be it's like you 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 you're failing to see you're failing to see that beyond your sight is so much more I feel like somebody is <coughs> being unrealistic i feel like there's a lack of uh being realistic in this situation i mean i'm just telling you what i see somebody's not putting in effort somebody's not communicating as much as or as much as they need to somebody's not cooperating and you're not happy about it they're not putting in effort you know and the thing is is that you're being unrealistic by pretending that something is going to change i don't think oh my god you could be involved in a third party situation. I mean, you could be. I mean, I'm not saying that is what it is, but it could be. I feel like somebody is in complete denial and it's time to remove this blockage. It's time to remove what's blocking you from new romance or new love or true love from coming into your life. You know, right now, many of you are involved with something that is untrue. This is the devil card. This is the sign of Capricorn, but it's also lies. It's also deceit. It's, um, what does the devil bring in? The devil brings in stuff that is not true. So I feel as though many of you are probably, you could be feeling robbed from this person. Okay, and it's blocking you from love with another person. Now, this could be any person because anybody, any one of us can take on that devil's energy. Okay, so I feel as though many of you are being unrealistic about the future because this is the future card. You're really being, oh, no, this is togetherness, cooperation. I'm sorry. It's about um, lack of co communication, lack of cooperation, lack of... Um, togetherness 
and like and the unrealistic part is about being unrealistic about the future about this person changing i i really feel as though there's some unhappiness there's some unha lack of togetherness big time big time You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Somebody who is very focused and creative. This person is very confident. And I feel as though you are being called to be courageous and have confidence. And stand up for yourself. And envision the future and follow that path. This guy is a visionary. Okay? So whatever you see in your future is where you should go, Scorpio. I think that many of you, it's it's time to really take the blindfold off. And that's what you're doing. I think the blindfold is being peeled off. And you're starting to accept the truth of a situation. That's what I see. If, you know, somebody is, is contemplating whether to give up on a situation or not. Whether they should just move on or whatever. I think there's one situation that was based on lust, based on sexual attraction. And you're, you're still thinking about it. Still thinking about should you move, really move forward or not. Or you're still hurt over that attraction that may have you may have felt robbed from. I feel like you feel like you've been robbed of perhaps even love. And you're being called to be objective. You're being called to look at things in a different uh, way and to take the lead. You are to take the lead in this situation. Because right now, somebody's in denial. This is the Ace of Swords reversed. Somebody is not accept, accepting the truth. They're not speaking the truth. And they're not... There's no new beginning. There's no fresh start. Okay? Because somebody is being dishonest. Perhaps with themselves. Now, we have all the signs here. So it could be any sign that you're dealing with. You're being called to really be objective about this situation and take the leadership role and start accepting the truth. Somebody is in complete denial over this situation. There's a lack of communication, a lack of togetherness, a lack of cooperation. Another ace reversed. Damn it. A lack of growth. Again, no new beginning. There's no new expansion. There's nothing going on with whoever this person is that you're thinking of or this job or however this applies. There's no new growth. There's not. And I feel like you feel like you're thinking about quitting. Because you have bigger, brighter visions for the future. So I think this month is, is thinking about where you want to go, what you want to do, what your future holds for you. Because right now, there's a lack of happiness, there's a lack of cooperation, there's a lack of communication, there's a lack of love with this Page of Cups reversed, or Knight of Cups reversed, okay? There's a lack of love and somebody is in denial Somebody is in denial. And it's somebody is not accepting the truth. Somebody is denying the truth. Out of fear. Perhaps of growing old alone. Or never finding a new opportunity. It's like I see midlife crisis mode. That's why all this thinking is going on. I think you guys are very deep in your thoughts about the future. And I think you are envisioning your future. I think that's why this guy came up. Because you guys are envisioning your future and what it holds for you. And I think that you know that you have to take the lead. You have to take the steps. That's why that chariot card came out. That the victory is in your hands. And I think that's why all this thinking is going on. I think you guys are thinking, thinking, thinking about your future. And you're thinking about what the next step is. And you're getting ready to quit on something.
because there's, there's these two endings. Remember I mentioned that? This could be a new job or a new home. You moving. This could be you moving home or moving to a new job. There is and there is. There's been some, there's been some kind of, there is going to be or there has been an ending. Could be at a job, could be in a relationship. With the with this uh, Ten of Swords next to the Ten of Pent Pentacles, there is a an ending to something that was destructive. Okay, it was causing you mental conflict. It's causing you anguish, and I see a move. There is a move on the horizon, whether it's within your job or within your home. There's a move on the horizon. You're contemplating it. Oh, courage, courage. Whew. Take the leap. Your courage will see you through. Huh. There's your answer, Scorpio. You know what this is about. And that's your guidance right there. Take the leap. Like, I, I think, I, I don't know if I said this for you or not, but your intuition, and I see a very, a very high intuition here as well. Your intuition is telling you what to do. And right now you're still thinking. And I think that the divine is here to tell you to take the leap. Take the lead. It will lead to victory and success. The chariot card is victory and success. You will be successful with whatever it is you envision for the future. But you are the boss of your own life. So anyway, this is what I have for you, Scorpio, for the month of March. The love readings will be the weekly readings. This could apply to love. This could be, apply to career, however you want to take it. Many of you are thinking about quitting because of some grief, some kind of grief. Talk to you later.